are you tired of getting in an armbar position but your opponent hangs on and you can't quite finish each and every time? Learn these ways to make sure you can break their arms apart every time and get the tap you deserve. Hello everybody, Coach Tom here. I'm here with my fantastic wife and white belt student, Jackie. And we are going to have a look today about how to finish the armbar when your opponent holds on for dear life. This has happened to everyone and I promise if you can apply these techniques that I'm about to show you, if you can master these, no one's going to be able to stop your armbar, okay? So let's get started straight away and let's have a look at the best ways you can break this grip so that if you go for an armbar, you're gonna get an armbar. So, if I have Jackie lying down here and I'm in a standard armbar, I may have entered this from the top or the bottom, but we've ended up here. The problem that people have from here is of course our opponents hold on. They can hold on to their hands, they can hold on to their elbows here, and of course they can hold on like this and put this hand under my leg which is a very common grip, okay? We're going to have a look at how to break all of these grips, okay? Now the number one thing I would say is that I am not a fan, no matter how you hold, you can hold any way you like now, I am not a fan of breaking this way, okay? If your opponent knows the hitchhiker escape, they'll simply point their thumb down and run out of it, okay? And that's the last thing we want, okay? So, we need to make sure we ensure against the hitchhiker running escape. And we are going to do that by having our left hand here all the way through, elbow to elbow, okay? Notice how I'm leaning forward with my belly and now my right hand here can grab hold of my partner's thigh or even pants, but I certainly prefer thigh. So if I actually try to grab the thigh deep like this, I'm actually going to start committing some of my body weight to breaking this lock, which is obviously ultra valuable as it's a very efficient use of force against my opponent. So when I'm here, I've got my left hand all the way through and my right hand grabs. Once I'm in this position, the first thing I'm going to try is the good old fashioned, let them come up and kick them back down. Now this works for a number of reasons, but when you try this, if you do this with force, you should have fantastic success right from the get go. So I'm holding tight, knees squeeze, feet in. My right hand comes around the thigh and I lean across. Now this puts a lot of pressure on the grip. However, I'm going to invite my partner to sit up with me, at which point I now kick my left leg down against the face and often the grip will break and I can go for my armbar right here. So again, if my partner is gripping, I fall down to my side and I grab my right arm around the thigh. I lean away, I pull her up with me and then I use my left leg here to kick right on the head. Okay, if they want the pressure to stop, they just need to let go. And then I control the thumb, keep it pointing up, and I finish my armbar. However, these days, a lot of people prefer this grip here, where they create almost like a back choke position, and they hold this. Now, I don't find this hard to beat at all. Okay, so I, there are a lot of different techniques you can use here to try to finish but this old tried and trusty one works absolutely fantastically. So we're going to start this the same way as we started our last armbar break, but if they have this grip and they're really tough, strong, stubborn individuals, we're gonna to have to use a secret little hack here and I'm gonna show you what it is. So we start off the same. They need to think that we're doing the exact same thing. So I come down, I grab that leg, and I'm trying to push here, but you'll see that my partner here has her hand behind my knee, so I can't affect her face. But that's okay, I just need her to be engaging that limb. So I'm gonna be pushing real hard, and I'm holding on to her. She can't do the running escape. I've got her so tight, she can't get the elbow out, but I can't kick with my leg. So I'm gonna let my right hand go temporarily, and now as hard as I can, I'm going to palm strike the tip of this elbow. Just like that. And it's gonna come right off and we can control the thumb and finish our armor. So we start this just like the last break, but 
Then we use our right hand to palm heel strike her right on the elbow. And as long as we're kicking with our leg at the same time, so she's having to engage that limb, we're gonna push that thing right off. So I've got my left arm, elbow deep, grabbing onto my hip. I come down and grab onto her thigh and I fall down and I start kicking. But she's got her hands locked very well and she's defending the kick. So I keep going, keep going, keep going. Let my right hand go, then instantaneously hit the elbow and then control the thumb and finish my armbar. So there you have it. That's the way I do all of my armbar breaks. You can see they start the same. And the better you get at these armbar breaks, the more easily you'll break them with just the first break. However, if your partner is really stubborn and strong and holding on and has great armbar defense, you may have to go for the first one and then give them the old right hand palm strike of death to the elbow. But if you do, you're gonna see fantastic results. Just uh, make sure you hit them on the elbow and don't hit them too hard. Don't hit them harder than you need to. Um, you don't obviously wanna hurt your partner, but they're holding onto an armbar, they know they're in danger, so a little hit to the elbow isn't too much uh, more than what she should expect because at the end of the day, if you've done all the work to getting to an armbar position, you gotta finish and that's how you're gonna do it. Okay, great luck on the mats guys. Practice these techniques so every armbar you go for is a submission victory for you. Thanks very much guys, I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.